Hello, John Dilworth here, and we are on day two of the storyboard of Howl If You Love Me. So where are we? We've done all this. We've done all this. Where are we? Oh, I see. Reflected through the tent. Stay too long. In the car. So all this, all this we've done, we're down here. Uh, we're going to be in the car. <coughs> and so the storyboard, this is, uh, well, it's very exciting. So let me see. We're going to put Jane and... Jane and Jim in the car, and I'm just going to rough out this interior just like this to see how they're going to fit. Maybe we need more room. So I'm doing it very lightly. I'm going to draw very lightly with my fast ink, no, fast lead pencil. I love you, I love you, I love you. And at the top of the car, let me see here. Maybe we have a bigger windshield so we can see everything so what's happening this poor kid there's there's jane she's gonna be here and there's jim so we want to get him here he's gonna be crouching over here's a steering wheel it's the back so we're gonna have the little dog here so now uh that's a pretty nice um da -da -da composition right so let's get going it's very exciting sharing this with you and while I'm doing this, I could tell you about, um, um, answer some of your questions that you've written. And how will be animated on paper. And uh, we'll go through a, a process that's time, more time consuming of scanning and all the rest that's needed to get something done. And I'm just hoping that we could see something in the short time we have together. Now, re uh, regarding Goose and High Heels, uh, that's all ready to go. We have a, we have a nice uh, director's commentary attached to that. And, and Jane's not feeling well in the car here things are going on and uh, she's feeling really quite cold in the coil in the car she's uh, I wanted to hold herself here to keep warm and when you're doing a storyboard for yourself well when I'm doing a storyboard I try to keep it loose I don't want to compete with TV production or these big CGI um, uh, movies where they have, you know, the masters of this type of production storyboard. I don't want to hear that noise. I'm just having fun. And the most important thing, I'm telling the story. And at the same time, preparing panels so that they could be used directly um, for layouts when we're doing animation. And what I love about this pencil is that it's it's just so soft and, and fast and I don't have to worry too much about anything. And so what? There's lots of lines. That's great. I love lines. It shows the pencil, the tool, the craft coming through the hand, into the fingers, through the lead. This is wood. This is all orga organic. It's all organic. So let's see what we can do here. So stay tuned for Goose and High Hills. We have plans. I'm going to, I'm going to release it. It's going to be, unfortunately, for a lot of us during these times, it's going to be a pay-per-view, or maybe it's just a donation. I don't know. You know, maybe we just do the honor system. People can leave what they want. I guess that's more fair to share art. You know, artists have to make a living as well and so this is really exciting so i'm 24 this is 25 i'm going to put scene 25 here in an a and this is a good way to track the shots within a scene 25a so this one previous scene is 24 e so there were e five panels in the scene 24 and 24 25 ha <laughs> ha you understand that i'm very happy okay so uh i think that's basically our little experience for today. More later.